Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Ashim. This is yesterday's leg training workout. Okay, so today's Monday and this workout is from Sunday night, which is yesterday. And uh, I've just visited my doctor and I'm, uh, I've just come back 10 minutes ago and I'm, and I'm doing this audio commentary right now. So stuff that I know right now, I didn't know at the time when I did this workout. And uh, so all, all along, well, this workout and the previous one, when I talked about my dust allergies, it's not really dust allergies. I don't have dust allergies. What I do have, however, is chronic acid reflux. So every single day in the morning for the last three months, I've been waking up with severe burning sensation in my esophagus and my throat um, because of this acid reflux. And uh, I've got my medication for it now because we finally figured out what it is. And uh, I'm going to be taking it tonight. So hopefully everything will get sorted out. This workout, Sunday's workout, this leg workout that you guys are watching, this morning... I had a horrible episode um, where I woke up and I couldn't breathe and uh, my esophagus was extremely inflamed and it's because of this of this acid reflux. So even today, uh, this morning was fine. So basically it's a lot of small things that I have to change in my lifestyle. Um, some things are going to be permanent and some things are just temporary because after all, this attack or whatever it is that just took place and it should not be happening to me at this age. I'm only 26 years old so it's really not the right place in my life for me to be having chronic acid reflux and uh, the way the, what I have to do is first off I'm just going to share this with you guys in case somebody else is going through the same thing but you guys should still cons cons consult a doctor so don't uh, take my word as being absolute this is just what is specific to me um, I'm, I, I have a light lunch heavy dinner so I have to shift that around I'm going to have a light dinner and a heavy lunch and uh, normally I eat my dinner and then I go to sleep uh, pretty soon like less than half an hour from having dinner that's not going to work anymore now i have to you know it's, it's small things so for example i'll do my workout and then i might go hang out with my friends or whatever and then uh, i'll come back and then i'll do my make my workout video and then i'll have my dinner, dinner and then i'll go to sleep so now what i have to do is i have to reverse the process i have to first have my dinner and then make my workout video and basically after dinner i need to be awake and conscious and alive for two hours before i go to sleep and uh, there's some small antacid that I have to take, but it's a, it's a liquid antacid, and uh, it's called uh, gelucil and uh, mucane mucane gel. Um, they're both just liquid solutions. So I have to have a teaspoon of each. If just this is immediate, this is not permanent. Um, this is just for the next two three days, uh, not two three days for a week to get this thing sorted out because all this coughing and everything is because of this acid reflux, and it's uh, it's affected my lungs as well. So we need to sort everything out and I'm going to get on this way. In a week, everything should be fine. And uh, that's what my doctor has assured me. And um, yeah, so I, that's that's the good news that there's a solution to this problem. And uh, bad news is that this problem was misdiagnosed before. And that's also partly my fault because I, I also thought it was dust allergies, but it's not. So I, I don't need to take the dust medication or whatever anymore. Um, Last night, I experimented with this because before I met my doctor, I had some limited understanding of what I need to do to reduce acid reflux. So I made I took those steps and it made a world of a difference. This morning, I've been feeling absolutely great. This morning, I woke up feeling good. So I know that with her more detailed expertise and her help, uh, I'm going to be fine. And uh, that's all I have to say about my health as far as this workout goes because I have realized that I've been rambling for approximately four minutes about my health. Um, this workout was good. I have uh, two clips of Atif doing uh, back squats. I had a leg workout. I did four sets of dumbbell swings, high reps, supersetted with weighted front planks. Keep in mind that I could not breathe when I did this workout. My lungs were about to explode. So normally what I do when I do lunges, whether it's for my heavy sets or my light sets or whatever, you know, whenever I do lunges, I, um, I do both legs together in the sense that I'll do my left leg and then I won't rack the bar, take a break or whatever. I'll finish my left leg and then I'll do my right and then I'll take a big rest. So that's not, that, that wasn't going to happen yesterday. 15 reps meant that my lungs were on fire by the time I got to rep like 8 or 9. And then it was just basically bearing with the pain and making sure I pushed through. So uh, there were breaks in between. Uh, back squats, I was a bit conservative. I took 60 kilos for 15 reps. I basically stopped uh, everything at 15. So if I hit 15, I was going to add uh, weight to the bar. And at the end, I wanted to add weight to the bar, but um, I decided against it. I wanted to be conservative. Uh, keep in mind that my lower back is still not okay. It's still hurting. It's still I still feel pain. And I'm not very happy about it. And it's probably going to take a while to go. But I'm going to do everything that I can to minimize this. And luckily, we know that it's not because I have a lower back injury or anything like that. It's just that this constant coughing and uh, these two episodes that I've had back-to-back -back of this acid reflux being really, really severe 
it has led to this so hopefully it's gonna all work out pretty soon like in a week everything should be fine and I'm looking forward to it being fine also I uh, because of my work and because of my lifestyle with work there are days where I go I go like six seven eight hours without eating any food yeah, that's not gonna fly anymore like for example today um, I'm, I'm doing this video at 8 15 at night and in about 20 minutes I'm gonna be uh, starting my deadlift alternative deadlift workout which video you guys will see tomorrow but anyway so it's 8 15 in the evening right now as I do this recording and uh, I ate my lunch I, I ate my first meal of the day at uh, 7 at 6 sorry at 6 o'clock and I've been I've been awake since uh, 9 so there was and just I couldn't eat because I was in meetings back to back so these types of problems that have been coming up and these things that happen it's uh, at least for the time being I can't go through I can't do all of that I have to make sure that I'm careful I take care of myself and I uh, m manage to eat something I can't keep an empty stomach for so long it only makes things worse so more than three hours of uh, there should not be more than three hours this is, what my, this, this is what my doctor said at least for right now as an immediate solution or a quick fix no more than three hours without going uh, going without food so I'm gonna stick to that otherwise uh, I'm in, in a way, this is the first time I've gone through some health problems like this. We did blood, we, we took a blood test and everything last week, so everything has come back normal. Uh, I did mention from when I made my deadlift workout video that uh, there was some sort of an infection, so I was put on a mild antibiotic dose. So that's uh, that chapter is over, and uh, now I got new medication and uh, new rules. So I'm I'm still trying to digest that. I'm, as like I said, I just came back from from meeting my doctor from my appointment, so now we'll see. Alright, so as far as this workout goes, Ativ uh, did 185, which is 407 for 1. This is his peak. Um, he's been doing heavy workouts. He's really, really regular, so that's good. And as for me, I did all the 15 rep sets. My legs are sore as fuck today. So, <laughs> I think I did, uh, I, did, I, did, I did my job well. Everything is sore, everything hurts. And uh, I should be good uh, for deadlifts right now, which is a risk that I'm taking. Uh, but I'm going to be conservative, and you guys will see that video when it comes out. So thank you very much for watching this video guys, I just wanted to keep you all updated and I wanted to uh, give you all the news and so you all know exactly what's going on. Thank you very much for watching once again, thanks a lot.